not only closed down roads, but damaged homes, shops and personal property. Our Kaylin Ashbaugh reports on what she saw today and shares the route to recovery for some who lost nearly everything. The back door started coming with a bunch of water and it hit, hit everything. Ankle deep in flood water. The reality for families on Drake Street in downtown Charleston. It can look like the it just came. After a coastal storm brought record number high tides to the area, flooding, rain and wind with it. Because of a flood, we had to completely demo in and reconstruct everything I had built about a month um, exactly again to the day and we're closed. Yoga studio owner Kate Moon says it's the second time she's had to start from scratch this year due to flood damage. <sighs> it's devastating. Um, and I'm just scared to death as to what this all looks like for me. Um, I don't know where to go. On the opposite end of Calhoun Street near the James Island Expressway, cars turn around on the overpass to avoid tire deep water levels. Other cars stuck, abandoned, other than the most important valuables found inside. It was flooded and I tried to turn right by the median, but the rain was low and still like got me stuck. This is very severe. This normally happens all the time, but this one is one of the worst. Live 5 News reached out to the city of Charleston in the office of Governor Henry McMaster for the next steps to recovery. For small businesses, it means feeling more secure and supported by officials. I think we need to take a step back and I think small steps, you know, add up to the bigger picture. In Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News. Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg has issued a statement on the historic tides and flooding we saw downtown today. He said this was a tough and frustrating day for our citizens and that thankfully no major injuries have been reported at this time. Tecklenburg says recovery efforts are already underway and that storms like today's are why we must move forward with infrastructure improvements and perimeter protections. Well,